Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to be visiting a new dimension and getting started on the Parabox. So, I hope you guys are ready. So today we are back at this, and we have a lot of stuff to, to kind of go over. Um, I did go ahead and make a few more resource hogs. You can see um, over here we had our Lapis, and I think I ended at the Netherrack. So I went ahead and made the glass one. Uh, the dirt, uh, there's a few more over here. In total, there's 18 so far that I have up that, that I can make currently um, until I get a specific type of grinder. Um, then we have our quartz, bone mill, and these are the gravel and sand. We have a coal, which is really nice. Um, I think the coal one is going to be very, very useful later on. Um, and then we have a emerald and a redstone. And that's about it compared to what we did last time. So all those are, are ready to go. They're pumping out materials. And uh, you can see here, like, they're really pumping out material. Oh, this is the... Is this pumping out? Oh, sorry. This is just the emerald. So, I forget whenever you click on them, the crafting recipes kind of show up like that. Um, but yeah, we have a lot to do. A lot to do. I want to push and push really hard into getting the Parabox, but it's going to require a lot of steps in order to do that. So, Parabox is a very interesting uh, machine here. Lots, uh, lots of stuff to kind of learn about how this thing works. So first of all, we do need to make a clock. So that's that's very simple, like a dark or just a regular oak clock. Um, I believe we can use slabs as well. It just depends on what time you click this. Like these, like you have to have a specific one, like the, the acacia, the dark, the framed, and the oak. That's the one we want. We want the oak one. Um, so now that we have that, we can place it down and we can see... Boy, that thing is really HD, and boy, that is a really nice clock, right? But, you know, we want this for actual crafting purposes. So, everything else with the pair box is going to require us to go somewhere else. Um, this is actually not too bad in itself. We do need to make this, which requires an osnium ingot, which means we need to get osnium, or and I say osnium, but it's actually osmium. I don't know why I always say it like that, but it's like a habit. It's like, you know, whenever you get a habit, you know, you kind of, you go with it. That's, that's what happens to me. Um, I don't think I have any of this as I, as I just planted the sapling earlier. And, uh, at this point I, I should be able to, to cast some of it out. We do need to actually have some cast though. Well, wow. am I missing some casts? I think I am. Did I have some in the chest or something? Oh, there's my casts. So we'll get those loaded back up as this starts to produce. Um, back into what we're working on, though. Like I said, Parabox time. Very, very cool thing. We need to go to another dimension. Because to get into Matter Overdrive, we need a specific material. Now, you could technically go to the Nether and farm this, uh, farm this stuff. But I, I find that this is going to be something that's probably best to be mined. And that's where this tool is going to come in handy. This is the Maddock. Um, so I think, I don't think I, I've already made it. No, I haven't. So this tool is actually really, really cool. It mines a three by three area and is very fast. Um, so we have this guy that mines a three by three area. Then we can also go ahead and get a party pickaxe, which of course is Darko Stowe's signature pickaxe which is the party. Let's go ahead and, and make this bad boy. It's super simple to make, by the way. Just requires some obsidian. Those can be turned into the uh, reinforced uh, ingots. And then, bam, you get yourself a party pickaxe. This thing is really fast, so be careful. Like, when I say fast, I mean it insta-bricks blocks. And it has a lot of durability. Um, even though we, had to, we have ore excavator, so this is going to really be helpful. Um, but this should ore excavate, and we should be able to use this when we go to another dimension. So when I pick, when I, I talk about dimensions, we do have a few of them. Uh, the one that we really want to go to, let's take a look at the cake, is right here, the Lost Cities cake. This is going to require a piece of dyed terracotta. So we are going to need some clay, or maybe terracotta. So yeah, we're going to need some clay. We're going to go ahead and smelt that up. I do have a furnace up here. And the reason I need to do this is because to dye terracotta, you need at least eight of them in order to dye it. Um, it's just how it's going to work. While we're waiting for that, 
Let's go over a few other tips that you can do that can really help your gameplay. Um, so if we go into matter overdrive, or not matter overdrive, sorry, um, mob, deep mob learning. Deep mob learning also has a loot fabricator that we just never made. So I should be able to make the, the, the loot fabricator. And this guy is really going to come in handy. Let's go ahead and make this. I know I have those. There we go. Loot fabricator. This bad boy is really, really useful. Um, so let's go ahead and get a GPS. We'll link that up to our power system. That's going to fill up. And there we go. It's going to start our process here. We're also going to get some more geothermal gens set up with some upgrades as well. But this guy's up and running. Also, we needed to craft a uncrafter. That's one of the things that is actually in this pack. And this thing is insanely powerful. We're going to talk about why. Or at least some of the reasons. Actually, I've already made it. So here we go. I was doing some testing with it. I'm going to place this down here. Uh, this guy does fill up with power. I just kind of click and open inventory. What this will do is this will actually... It'll actually uncraft items. And some items are very overpowered to be uncrafted. So, if we take, for example, an Ardite sapling and a Cobalt sapling, these are some incredibly overpowered items to uncraft. First of all, let's see what an Ardite, Ardite sapling looks like when we uncraft it. You guys ready for this? I don't think you are. That's right. That is pristine blaze matter that is being produced there. Also, we get some glowstone ingots. This pristine blaze matter can go in here and can automatically get us either sulfur or blaze rods. Very, very cool, right? But even cooler is what this cobalt can do. You do not need to fight the wither. Here is the pristine wither matter that you get from cobalt. Look at this. You get it every time from your cobalt saplings. So don't throw away your saplings. As I said, some of them are very useful. And we can just throw the pristine matter in here. And we can select either Supremium Essence or another star. And that's right. With this uncrafter, we can get another star. And if we take a look here, it says craft a cyclic uncrafting grinder to break down items and blocks. When it says that, there are some really incredible things you can do with this. And that, for example, is one, is getting nether stars as easy as that. Also, blaze rods are something that are kind of a pain to get, and getting them this way really makes things easy. Um, so, I hope I hope, <laughs> I hope that didn't ruin the, the pack for you, uh, because it is intentional. Um, and we're going to talk about that here in a little bit as we get into the pair box, because the pair box has some features to it that, I mean, according to Dark Ghosto, seem like they're intentional. So, like, item duping is intentional, as far as I know. Um, which may sound, like, weird, but I, mean, I guess in today's packs, that is a normal thing. I, I have no idea. But it may get patched in the future. We'll talk about that. I don't know if that's if he's joking or not, or not when he says that that's a feature or not. I, I never know sometimes with Dark Ghosto. Um, who is the pack dev, if you didn't know who I was talking about? Um, so, back to the pair box. At this point, we should have some Osmium. Let's grab that stuff, right? We should have Osmium. Oh, you know what? Of course we're not going to have Osmium. We don't have our clock on here. Let's knock that bad boy down and knock that up to that. Awesome. So that's going to get us some Osmium ingots. Right. So, pair box. All about crafting today. At least forgetting this. We'll worry about this here in a little bit. So, this right here is going to require us to have these uh, enriched alloy. And this stuff is not that hard to get. We need a metallurgic infuser in order to do this. Which means we need a couple furnaces, probably some cobblestone, since it seems like we are out of cobblestone, which is kind of crazy. I do have a folder for cobblestone, so that should just go right in there. We should not have to worry about that. We should never have to worry about cobblestone. Um, so... Metallurgic Infuser. Let's get this bad boy made. So it just requires some redstone, very simple materials. And I actually want to put some of these machines over here. I know having power tossed around is going to be a little weird. Um, but I want to. I want my machines to sort of be in the area where our, our crafting and stuff is at. So let's get another GPS. I'm going to just grab a couple of GPSs while I'm here because I know we're going to need them over time. 
shift right click, and that will actually give this power directly from our geothermal. There we go. Um, so yeah, that is going to work. Um, now we need to fill this thing with redstone and we need to put some uh, iron in it. So let's grab some redstone blocks. We can actually use redstone blocks, so that's what I'm probably gonna do. And then we need iron. So I'll just grab a stack of that and we'll throw that in there. So this is gonna consume a little bit of power. You can put upgrades in here. Upgrades you can use can reduce the, the noise that this makes, but it sounds like by default, they've already adjusted that config to reduce the noise, which is awesome. Cause usually that config is super noisy. These machines without upgrades are usually really, really loud. So this is actually a reasonable audio, like a reasonable in the audio. Um, of how loud this machine should be. Um, so yeah, we just need to let that run. That is going to allow us to make that battery, advanced battery. Uh, while we wait, let's go ahead and I think we can make this. I've been using this a lot on the in streams. It is really, really fun. And that is the reusable ender pearl. This thing will help us travel around our base. Just like that, it is an ender pearl that we can literally toss back and forth and it allows us to get around our base a lot easier. And it's literally a reusable Ender Pearl. It never, it'll never go away. Um, and speaking of that, Ender Utilities is a really powerful mod, and I recommend you checking out some of the cool things that it provides. Uh, so yeah, it really provides some cool things. We're gonna, we're gonna mess with it here in a little bit as well. We're gonna make a few things from it um, before we head off to another dimension. So let's go ahead and grab our terracotta. I want to make red, I think I have some red dye. Do I not? Yeah, I do. So let's take this and we'll make some red terracotta. Um, I think a piston, I don't think, a, will a piston break a cake? That is a question. I think it'll just break the cake. It's been a long time, but I, I don't think cake goes back into its item form. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. So let's make some cake. That we need an egg, which we need seed. So like I said, we're fixing to be making another another uh, cake here. We do have our cow, our market. Let's put our seed in there. Get ourselves an egg. That, we should have some wheat. Couple buckets. And bam, we can make ourselves a cake. And we need sugar. There we go, cake ready to go. All right, so the Lost Cities Dimension Cake. This is a very uh, very fun Lost Cities, by the way. So let's go ahead and make all this, a couple diamond blocks, and I think we have everything else. Uh, brick, red terracotta, which we just made, I believe. Yeah, it's right there. I think we have enough for brick. Perfect. Place the red terracotta, and we get ourselves a Lost Cities Cake. This is another dimension, much like the cake from the nether. So when we click this, we are going to need some way to potentially fly again. Of course, we do have a, the charm. Right here, the air charm. That is probably what we're gonna use for right now. Um, I do need to go ahead and make some chorus fruit. So coarse fruit, we need this uh, extraterrestrial matter in order to get coarse fruit to be able to grow coarse flowers. Um, or we can use purple slime. Hmm. That's also another thing. Purple slime, we can smelt that down into a bucket. That's also a very good thing we can do. Purple slime. So let's do that. I was going to say maybe using the extraterrestrial stuff would be good, but... We need, we can actually smelt this down. Like so, pop this out. Put a bucket here. And that should get us enough to fill a bucket in which we could throw that over here and take some apples. And we can get tons of this stuff actually. So yeah, that should totally fill. So there we go, and fill that. Take an apple. That got us four chorus fruit, wow. Um, so 
We do need some glowstone. So I'll place the glowstone. Actually, do I have a... I do have a place right there. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves some instone. I'm going to place one of these inside a uh, bonsai. So that way we can just, over time, gain some coarse uh, flowers. So we're, we're getting ready to, to go into the Lost Cities dimension. It is a pretty crazy um, dimension. Um, I do want to go ahead and get this coarse fruit because I, I, I want to show you this is a different form of flight. Um, that is well worth your time. I think it's well worth it. So let's go ahead and pop this off. And yes, you can place these bonsais just like this with instone in it. And you can place a coarse fruit in it and it's going to generate um, coarse fruit and, and everything else that uh, comes from the end. It even has a chance of producing ender pearls, but it's a very slim, very slim chance. So there we go. We'll fill that up again. And we probably need to do this two times. It does seem like this is actually pretty a pretty fast process for getting these. So there we go. We'll just dump that there. And that gives us 11. So what we can do with this is take some glowstone. And we can combine it with glowstone. This coarse flower. That'll give us eight glowing chorus fruit. When you eat one of these, let's go ahead and just for example, take this air charm out. If you eat one of these, that gives you two minutes of solid flight time to create a flight. Um, so when you land, it actually stops that timer up in the top right hand corner that you see. When we're, when we're in the air, we have a timer. When we're like this, we do not have a timer. Very cool. This is a really, really nice flight. I do want to keep the air charm just in case. You never know when you might accidentally fall. I do want to clear my inventory out and have only the items that are very specific to what we're going to be working on. Um, and then we're also going to go ahead and, like I said, work on Ender Utilities. So, Ender Utilities. Let's get into that mod. I want to make myself a lovely uh, handy bag. So we have two different types. We have this Ender Alloy that we can make, which gives us a handy uh, bag that is large, which might, I think, might be worth it in the long run. Um, we only need a few of these. So let's go ahead and see. We should be able to make this. That's four. Then we need the string and an Ender Chest. So I do need some Obsidian. So Buckets. Gotta love this. Just gonna toss these over. And there's a bit of an obsidian for us. Um, so this goes around and I have an ender. Good old fashioned ender chest for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this bad boy. I think we need um, some leather as well. Hmm. Pretty sure we don't have rotten flesh, but a drying basin is a good option. You know, we haven't actually made the drying basin, but a drying basin definitely is a good option. I think we have some zombie. Some good old rotten flesh with a couple of them. So let's take the drying basin. This guy's pretty cool. We can just place it down somewhere. Why not next to this guy? We place the rotten flesh in there. It's going to take a, a couple seconds. And the next thing you know, it's going to change into leather for us. Very cool. And all we need is two anyways. There we go. And uh, you can automate that guy as well. Very, very cool to do. Um, also, I just I just realized our wall is all over the place. We have the regular wall back. We, I think I'm going to change that back here after we go to the, the Lost Cities. Um, you might be wondering, what's wall? The thing that, the, what are you looking at? The thing that's showing up. All right, so Ender bag. Let's make this. So now when you open up your inventory, look at this extra inventory that you have now. No joke. This thing is insane. 
So what you need to do now is get yourself some memory cards. Because this actual, this backpack is beyond crazy on the amount of storage that you can have in it. Um, so this regular ender alloy is very simple to make. So what I want to do, make a few of it. We'll go ahead and get our base six card, which is going to be a couple of them, right? So I have eight of them now. Let's go to our, our chip here. This is just going to require some slime, right? Just require some slime. That's eight. Then we have our 10, right? So really we just need a couple more of these. We can keep upgrading this. Right, till we get all these. There's four. Then we can make a 10. Or if we have this, this special alloy, we can of course upgrade to that. But that's a 10 memory card and it goes all the way up to 12. Right? Which is insane on the amount of storage it holds. When we put this in here, it unlocks every slot. Let's get some cobblestone, for example. Probably the best way I can describe how this backpack works. Um, so when we, we're just opening up our inventory, by the way. Watch this. We can hold it in any of these slots, by the way. We can control these things. Require action disabled. Oh, you can update items. Um, sort items, which each of these tabs have its own sorting thing. Um, you have right here, which is very... The shift click behavior, you can shift click in. And you can notice that went up to 128. That's right, because this will hold stacks of items. Multiple stacks of items. And it tells you right here what it does. And I'm pretty sure that's 10 stacks per slot, if I remember correctly. So it will hold that. Um, and then we also have right here, like I was talking about, the shift right click behavior. If you don't want to shift right click items into here and you want it to go in your hotbar first, you change this right here to move between inventories and hotbar. Um, because you can just use these buttons to move your inventory over. Then you also have auto pickup mode to matching or all or disabled. I like to set mine to matching so it automatically picks up items that are currently in here. So when we're mining, you can do this, but you can actually swap. You can have a card for each one. So if you want this card to be active in this tab, you can be here. This is another whole tab on a card. This is a another whole tab on a card. It's insane. I'm not joking. This is crazy, and the, each of these cards will fill up in this inventory, and all you gotta do is just keep this inside your inventory. Insane. So, very useful. It's gonna be very helpful when we go mining, and like I said, we're about to do some real normal mining, which is gonna be kind of fun. So, let's go ahead, and uh, I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. All right, we have chorus fruit, we have all of this, we, we probably need some more torches. A torch launcher would probably be the best thing for us. So let's go ahead and do that. What is this for higher coal? So we'll make one of those and make ourselves a torch launcher. Awesome. So with the torch launcher, we don't really need anything else. We can go ahead and head to the Lost Cities. Meet you there. So we have now made it in the Lost Cities. And I you do see this right here, chosen given. Somebody was commenting saying, oh, he cheated. But no, it actually does spawn you in with two of them. Um, it just runs a command. Like, that's not me running this command. This is the console running the command. Um, yeah, it does give you two when you spawn, and you'll notice that when you get in there. But you're going to have sort of a, a deal like this, where you're literally in a, a Lost Cities world. Um, right now, it is pretty uh, pretty dark, so it's probably best for us to well, not have cake on us. By the way, this thing does provide cake that you can eat. Probably best to have some torches on, like I said, to eat a couple of these. Probably just eat all of them. That way we have a good amount of flight time. Um, and we're just going to fly into these areas. So there's several things that we're going to need. I think this one has just a regular birch biome. This one's an actual cityscape, so you can get all kinds of quartz and things through it. But, I mean, you can just simply break this. And also we have the wow creepers. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. Lots of wows. Um, but yeah, underneath here is where we're really interested in. I'm, I'm not interested in anything else except for what's under this. By the way, this is all terracotta. Some of this has um, or like has uh, quartz and stuff like that. We have tons and tons of slabs to sort of take a hold of, which is going to be really nice as well. Um, but all in all, wow, we wow, like I said, we need to go under. So 
if you get lucky, you might go down here and see like lava pouring out of the bottom. Um, but you kind of want to stick around like this level here. Around this level. Also, we might want to mark our our little stand here. I almost forgot to do that. That would have been bad. So let's set a new waypoint. We'll save that. There we go. So now we can like fly underneath here. And then I'm going to break a little section down at the bottom. And we're going to go mining like crazy down here. Wow. Wow. By the way, there's wow. also caves. Let's keep that in mind. Wow. 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 Actually, I put one here. Wow. Wow. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, us going mining is not going to be too difficult, as you can already see. With this pick, it mines in a 3x3, three three, and it is very fast. But we're looking for a specific type of ore from Matter Overdrive. Wow. Um, so, Matter Overdrive has this uh, tritanium ore. There's uh, several ways you can get tritanium, but. The best way, I think, is probably going to be mining. And we also need to come here for dilithium. Um, you can also get rock crystals while you're down here, because rock crystals spawn like crazy, like normal ore, which is also kind of uh, crazy to me. But look at that. We also got a got an advancement. This also works as a shovel. So this is a really cool tool. Oh, but right here, right here, is the tritanium ore. So we need lots of this stuff. So I'm going to have to mine for quite a while. And I'm really just looking for this Tritanium. Um, but we also have some other things from Nuclear Craft that we're going to need to grab. And of course we're unlocking advancements while we're here. Um, all in all, I need to grab all of this stuff that I can. Because it is going to be very, very useful. And like I said, if we just put it in our bag here. Any of these materials. It will automatically collect them. And keep them out of our main inventory. So, while I pick all these these tools and stuff up, you can see it doesn't go in my main inventory, it goes in here. And that's what I want. And even these sidebars. It's a super crazy backpack. So I found this ravine, and I just wanted to show it real quick. There are, are actually rock crystals you can get, um, but definitely finding all these ores, like these stacking up in here, you, uh, you, you really do find some really cool things. Um, I noticed this cobblestone here. I wonder if there was like lava. Oh, there is lava. Um, I got a cobblestone generator right there. But yeah, there's a lot of materials in these walls and like stuff that you're really going to need. Um, if you get lucky, you will probably run across uh, run across some rock crystals from Master Sorcery, like I mentioned. If you do that, dude, they are that that's such a lifesaver because normally rock crystals you have to go through a special process to obtain. By the way, the wow is coming from the creepers. Um, wow. 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 If you haven't experienced those already. Wow. 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 Ah, here's a good example. Wow. Let's go ahead and get these guys, but these are rock crystals, like, from Astral Sorcery. Uh, by the way, some of you may be yelling at me, why aren't you using Ore Excavator now since you have it? Oh, I'm going to use Ore Excavator. Just watch this. This is insane, by the way. Like, this is what you can do with Ore Excavator. Given that you have enough hunger, like, given that you have the ability to do this, and you, your pick has the durability, you can Ore Excavate this entire area. And yeah, expose some of the ores that you're actually looking for. At least if you have Ore Excavation. So we are back from that dimension, and unfortunately, I think we're running out of time. So, what I plan on doing is next episode, we are going to get this bad boy going. Also, we're going to get that, like I said, we're going to get that pair box up and running. We're going to get some ore production done. I mean, we have a lot of stuff that we can do. Also, I need to get rid of this. Uh, by the way, here's the thing. We can fill all existing snaps, stacks, or we can move all matching. Move all except uh, the hot bar and hold shift. What I want to do is move all items to my inventory. And then what we can do is just fill this like so. We can do the same thing again. Move all items. Oh boy, like we have a lot of cobblestone that's got stored in here, but it's well worth having this thing. It's This is probably by far 
my favorite backpack ever. It, it's so good. That it, and we haven't even really touched it. There are several other things we can do with this. Like it, this is this just barely touches it. Um. So, anyways, I just wanted to say thank you guys. By the way, for all watching this, clicking that thumbs up button. You guys have been absolutely amazing during these let's plays. Um, and I hope you guys are learning something. As we pr progress through this pack, things are going to start really speeding up. Um, so we are at that point where we have so many resources at this point. Things are really going to start picking up for us. And we're going to have to be building some more infrastructure. And uh, we're going to be building some more platforms and things like that for us to work from. But I just want to say, like I said, I do appreciate all you guys. All you guys who have been dropping by the live stream. I really do appreciate that. If you haven't checked the comments already comments down below um, we'll have link, uh, links to the live stream in which I probably am going to be live um, at this time so anyways guys I really do appreciate it I hope to see you guys in the next episode and as always thanks for watching